All right, turning now to your community focus, more changes are coming to the Providence Place Mall as The Gap announces it's closing its location there. And joining us live to talk about what that means for the mall and the health of retail in general during these times of inflation is Diane McCrowan from Johnson & Wales University. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me today. I love talking about the mall, all malls actually. Mm -hmm but um, it's very interesting what's happening at Providence Place. Hmm. For sure, and so on Friday I went to the mall and saw the signs in the window that Gap is closing by late April. Is this yeah. a big blow for Providence Place? It's another blow for hmm. Providence Place, it really is. I looked at their um, website today just to see what they were saying about it, to look at you know what was, the, what was their comment on it. And I noticed that Brookfield Properties, who owns the Providence Place Mall, had written on there that this is the mall, like a destination mall for millennials. Hmm. And the first thing I thought of is, this is not a destination mall for millennials. And they really need to do some more research into the millennial market to make sure that they're going to be shopping there. Because with the stores that they have right now, and not that much entertainment, for millennials, which is what they're looking for, it, it will not be a destination mall for millennials. Mm. I know we want to talk with you more about um, you know malls in general and yeah. sort of what what has happened to them over the past few decades. But I feel like in general, everyone is certainly feeling the squeeze right now with inflation. So I'm curious if you can sort of give us an overview of retail shopping and spending in general. I've got to yeah. assume people are spending less time window shopping, impulse buying, that kind of thing. You would think that they they were, hmm. but in January the retail sales were actually up. Hmm. Only a small percentage, but they were up, and they weren't, you know, they weren't scheduled to be up. No one had predicted that, but we did see a, a downturn, about four percent in February. Um, but now we have Easter, hmm. so Easter shopping is planned up again, with people averaging about two hundred dollars per person spend wow. on Easter. A lot will be on food and candy, hmm. but about 53% of the people that the NRF had surveyed are gonna be buying clothing. Wow. Now, malls in general, of course, have changed drastically from what they were in their mm -hmm. heyday. So thinking about malls like the Warwick Mall and Providence Place, are they able to stand the test of time as we sort of go forward here? Um, Warwick Mall has done a good job so far of standing the test of time. They really have kept the anchor stores made the mall, you know, some place for people to go to. They have good restaurants, you know, around there. They have the movie theater. So they've been able to keep that going. They need to think about some more entertainment hmm. for the um, Warwick Mall, but the Providence Place really needs to rethink what they're doing in that space. All right, we will wait and see what happens with the future of the Providence Place Mall. We're going to have Mayor Brett Smiley on later this week to talk to him about it as well. But that's all the time that we have. Diane McCrowan from Johnson & Wales, thank you so much for being here. Thank you.